Okay, it's probably the last video of the DX200 for a while. I know I'm wearing it out. I've checked all the bands now. Uh, it does receive on all bands. It even does better on the 13 to 30 megahertz than I thought it would. Right now I'm uh, listening to one of those what sounds like Arabic or maybe Indian subcontinent uh, uh, stations uh, in the 40 meter range. It's uh, about 7.246 to 2.48, somewhere right around in there. Here it is on the realistic anyways. <laughs> Hopefully my zoom, yeah. I don't know what the deal was in the earlier video, but it was a little glitchy. Give you an idea what it shows there. Okay, switch, switch box. Well, actually, I can still hear it on the 200 as well, so I'll turn it down. Turn the Panasonic 4800 up. I hear this just about every night anymore. It's kind of interesting, or it is to me. I don't know what station it really is. I've never really investigated it all that much. Uh, that's on wide. On narrow. Four seven four eight with the wide. I mean, with the narrow on, it looks like. So that's the Panasonic, and I'll go back to. Uh, let's see, that'd be receiver two. And there it is on the. Uh, there it is on the little realistic DX200. I'm, I'm really, I'm really impressed with it. It's not nearly as deaf, uh, you know, off on the upper end of the band as I thought it would be. It still ain't the best, you know, like in uh, 10, 11 meters. Of course, night time, it's really kind of hard to judge anything there. But, but even my Panasonic doesn't really do all that great up, you know, that high frequency. To be honest, I was able to get some foreign broadcast. Uh, Oh, what was it? I guess in, uh, I think about this in a minute. I don't remember if it was in 13 meters or, I think it was maybe in the night, it was in 19 meters. At this time of night, that's not bad. It's not really, it's not the best time of day, you know, for that sort of thing. It's midnight, so, you know, it does well. I'm impressed with the little guy. I didn't give, I didn't give very much for this. Uh, it was an eBay find. This one sold for less than they normally do. I think the win. I won it bid wise for a little over 40, or like 42 bucks or something. I don't remember exactly. And the shipping was, from what I remember, pretty re real reasonable on this. So. I think it was around twelve, fourteen dollars. So I, I'm really, I'm really happy with this radio. It'll probably be my last receiver. I've only got three now. Two inexpensive ones. And, you know, the Panasonic wasn't expensive either. I, I bought it for a lot less than they normally go for. So that's probably it for me for receivers. Got everything I need. This, this one I may end up loading to a uh, to a friend of mine to use anyways. You know, for a while. Anyways, seventy threes, everybody. Uh, I'll uh, try to get back to some CB, uh, some vintage CB radio videos here soon.